that we have to change our ideas about where consciousness comes from. And where you believe that consciousness is a product of the brain, it's impossible. So for me, the brain has a, is, has a function of a transceiver. It receives information from consciousness and it sends information from our senses and body to our consciousness. So it is a transceiver, it's an interface function. So the brain makes it possible, but facilitates the uh, experience of waking consciousness when we are awake. But consciousness itself is not localized to the body and to the brain. It's not local, which is when people tell us about their experience of an enhanced consciousness and they have a life review of, let's say, during a of two minutes, they can talk for hours to days about what experience, because there's no time and no distance during this experience. You have each thought you ever had is kept, each word you have said and each act you've done with the influence on oneself or other you perceive. So, 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 so this consciousness is in a dimension without time and space and this and everything is connected and this is what you call non-locality so this is what I call non-local consciousness